Iceland is is absolutely epic in terms of the geography. It's got everything you'd want in terms of giant waterfalls, plates, tectonic plates ripping apart, in terms of volcanoes going up glaciers. It's a toss-up for me as to whether the glaciers are better than the volcanoes or the volcanoes better than the glaciers. And then to finish the trip on lava tubing is on the last morning we leave is is pretty special. Yeah, it's not something that your normal student would do. It was really good actually because you just get to see what you're taught in the classroom out here. Spices it up. Yeah, out here you get to see everything and it's it's much better. That's the teachers at school, they always talk about what's going on outside and it's much better just to have it there in front of you yeah. rather than them just talking about it. And the stuff you do learn in the class actually does help you spot the different things that you wouldn't actually spot unless you had the geography knowledge. So it's, it's quite useful in some respects. You know, we can, we can really look at the stuff that we're learning in lessons, like particularly with the waterfalls that we did yesterday, we've learned how they're how they formed and like features, and then you go and see them, and you kind of think, oh yeah, that's undercutting and whatever, so it's really good. Yeah, I think we understand the textbook kind of stuff more because we like remember it all, because like it's all from the trip, so then like you remember like the picture and like the experience with it, so then you remember how like the stuff formed and things like that. It's a lot different than on school diagrams, and you actually see what uh, like crevasses or ravines like uh, like in real life and in Iceland. It's, I prefer seeing it first hand rather than in a textbook diagram. Seeing like braiding on rivers, gorges, undercutting at a waterfall. It's fantastic to see it first hand really. Taking the kids outside the classroom is what it's all about. If I could get away with being away for half the term, I would do, because really that's what geography is about. It's about experiencing it. I don't expect them to do any work here. They don't need to because they remember it all. It's all about geography, adventure, extravaganza. My highlight's probably been the Iceberg Lagoon. It's just gorgeous in general. And it's where they filmed the two James Bond movies, which were just, uh, it was pretty cool just seeing where they filmed something. Like Especially with the seals. Yeah, the, the seals are gorgeous as well. And they, they're actually not that shy as well. So they did come up straight up to us and said hello. That was, that was really cool. It was some fabulous pictures. Yeah. yeah. My most memorable uh, part of this trip was uh, scrambling along the rocks underneath the waterfalls, along the rip rap by the coast of the Iceberg Lagoon. I just love monkeying around in all the rocks. And also the waterfall was really good. Mm. Yeah, cool. really cool. <laughs> yeah, that was a definite highlight, because you obviously we study it in class and then you can see it happening in action. Yeah, well you can imagine it looking like this um, thousands of years ago as well. It, it looks so different to everything at home. I'd probably say going behind the waterfall is my favourite thing because it was just the imagery of seeing that waterfall in front of you and just seeing the water going past is just there's nothing like it, it's truly beautiful. The best bit was the gorge walking, just going through the giant gorges and all the scenery around you just amazing. Glacier walk, it was uh, very fun. We've never done it, we've never done it before. But it was uh, very cold in places. But it's a memorable experience. Yeah. It's really weird to walk on ice, it's just with crampons, you just don't slip at all. It's just, you know, I feel a bit like a penguin. amazing, amazing experience for the students and the, the different shapes in the lava, the experience for the kids of actually crawling through a lava tube is uh, pretty unbelievable and uh, they've all had an amazing time.
yeah, I have to say my highlight would probably be going on the top of the glacier above the clouds. It was just a spectacular view. You get to see where the volcano erupted in 2010. It was just amazing and the, the whole day just seemed to go so quickly. It was just so enjoyable. Um, probably good doing up on the top yeah. of the glacier. That was amazing because we were above the clouds and it was just, it just looked like we were in a movie or it wasn't real because we were just, like, it was perfect really. Yeah, you yeah. literally feel like you're on top of the world because you can see the clouds around you and then there's all this like smooth snow everywhere and so that was amazing. <laughs> you're really free and <laughs> yeah. liberated. Discover the World is very experienced at running uh, trips for students and they've been very good in terms of um, knowing what I want to do and me suggesting things and then putting it together for me. Uh, they've been very supportive and I'm hoping to use Discover the World again to set up some new trips uh, to the Jordan trip and the Costa Rica trip maybe in the future. So no, Discover the World is, is, is very experienced at running trips for students uh, and uh, they know exactly the sort of accommodation that's appropriate and the sort of activities that are appropriate. Yeah, and the staff are very good at the end of the phone. It's been the most memorable holiday for me, e easily, because of the amount of stuff that's jam-packed into it. Uh, there's, there's waterfalls, there's glaciers, there's uh, hiking into hidden hidden valleys, uh, dr driving through rivers on a super bus, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah, there is nothing like this trip so far, that probably any of us have done. Probably never do it again. It's been the best school trip so far, I think. And I don't think anything could probably top going to Iceland, going on glaciers and like sitting on an iceberg. <laughs> Definitely recommend the trip to Iceland. Definitely, I would, I would tell all my friends, and even the people below, to go on this trip. I, I would always say, friends, come on, let's go to Iceland, it's wicked. I have recommended Discover the World to many schools, in fact I think um, I, when I get home I've got another email from a former student who's now teaching geography who would like to set up the Iceland trip. So uh, this year already I've given it to four colleagues uh, in terms of the Iceland trip, the itinerary, the contacts for Discover the World. And uh, so I feel like Discover the World is gradually expanding in Kent from geography schools, uh, which is great. Yeah. Iceland is fantastic, it's amazing. It's, it's the best experience of my life so far. Probably the best that we'll ever have. Yeah. I absolutely love it. It's like I'm on a holiday with friends. And I, I like to make up geographical words like splendiferous and all those, all those adjectives you can use for Iceland, they're not enough. It's the wow factor.